Hello everybody, today's video is going to be a quick little Halloween haul and I got this all for the rats, which are right there, <laughs> uh, for their Halloween cage tour. And if you hear like this noise in the video, it's Lemmy, he's uh, walking around on the puzzle play mats and he just ran away. <laughs> So this is going to be a Halloween haul, so this is all the stuff that I got for the rats Halloween cage. And actually I told myself that I wasn't doing a Halloween cage this year and I was just going to do a winter slash Christmas cage tour, um, but obviously that didn't happen. I really like doing cage uh, themes, um, so yeah, I guess I kind of just did. <laughs> so the first thing I got was a bunch of black fleece so it's r really dirty from Lemmy. Lemmy like to lay on it so this is just black fleece which I'm going to use as cage liners for the rats um, and I'm not doing like actual like liners like sewing them and stuff I'm just going to be cutting up just cutting them up to size and um, just kind of putting it over their pins just because uh, they really like to strike. Of course, Gracie wants to run on her wheel right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just going to be cutting them up to size. I didn't want to do like full cage liners just because um, the rats ruin them. I, I'd like to do cage liners for Gracie because she doesn't ruin them. Um, so I'm just using regular old fleece for the big pants and the small pants. Um, a thing, and I got that I got like regular black fleece at Walmart. It was like three dollars in Canada, so I thought might as well just pick some up. <laughs> right. So the next thing I got slash um, made were the I got I made four hammocks. So this one is a really cute fox print. I got um, this fabric at Walmart for two dollars for this whole uh, panel of fabric, I guess. And I use some black fleece and I really like it. It's little foxes and it's orange and on the other side it's black. So I thought that went really well with the um, Halloween theme. And I made two of those and then I made two of these. These ones I thought were, they weren't very Halloween-y, but they were autumnal I guess. Um, and they have foxes and hedgehogs and little acorns and squirrels and mushrooms. I thought that was really cute since today is Thanksgiving actually while I'm filming this so happy Thanksgiving to all the um, Canadian friends I don't know where else uh, celebrate Thanksgiving today <laughs> um, but Americans celebrate at a different time so if you're watching this at that time happy Thanksgiving <laughs> um, so yeah I got those at Walmart um, the little cotton pieces and then I got the fleece from Walmart as well, I guess. And then I at the uh, Dollar Tree, they were having like their overstock from last year, and it was all on sale for 50 cents. So I got five uh, paper lantern slash centerpieces. So this is like a table centerpiece. This one is um, really cute. It has like a cauldron and some ha um, witch's feet coming out, and it's really cute, and it's completely rat safe because it is made of cardboard and paper and then the next one I got was this pumpkin centerpiece again cardboard and paper really cute um, and then the, the next three are hanging uh, decorations this one is boo it's kind of like a little flower it has boo in the center with like orange around it and then this one is a little scary. I don't know if I'm actually going to be using this one just because it's so dark and I don't want my cage to be this dark. <laughs> but this one has a little scary monster face, pumpkin face on it. And that's just the paper lantern. And then this one is a ball and it has a little witch on it, which I thought was really cute. Again, those were all 50 cents each. Also at um, the Dollar Tree, I got this little cardboard box. Um, it's it has Happy Halloween on the front. It's kind of like a haunted house. I like like the little roof and stuff. And it's just a cardboard box, so I'm gonna hide like treats in it, or I could cut like a little hole in this like door, and they could go in. Um, either way, I think they would have lots of fun with that. And it's super cute. I only got one of those, and this was a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And the thing I could pass up at the Dollar Tree. Sorry if you could hear children in the background. Um, were these little uh, spider baskets. 
So they're like spider webs, um, but they have like little feet on them. It's kind of like what you would see in like those cage tours with the hanging baskets. But these ones have feet and I, when I saw them I could have just imagined Sage sleeping right in here. Um, so I couldn't pass those up, they were a dollar each. Um, and they're orange and they're cute. <laughs> The other thing that I got at the Dollar Tree was this little black cauldron. Um, and it's like one of those trick-or-treating bucket type things. Um, but I thought that I could either use this as a dig box or I could hang it up for the rats to kind of play in. Um, but I thought it would be pretty cute with like a little green uh, shredded paper in it. Because it would look like a cauldron with like witch's brew in it. And I thought that was really cute. <laughs> And now at the Dollarama, I don't know if a lot of places have the Dollarama, but in Canada we do. I got this little coffin. Um, it's made of uh, wood, um, and it was $1.50, and it could shut, and you could put stuff in it. And I thought that I usually get these every year for the rats, and I put some treats in it, and then they could uh, chew their way through it, or they could just open it and get the treats out. And usually I paint these things with pet safe paint, but this year I'm just going to leave it bare. Just because I don't want to like, um, I don't know, I don't know, I just don't want to paint them this year. And that was $1.50 at Dollarama. The other thing I got at Dollarama for $1.25 was this little wooden pumpkin, which uh, just stands up on its own. Um, you could either paint it or use it, it's usually for children, it says Halloween paint set. Um, I usually throw the paint out and uh, paint it with pet safe paint, but again this year I'm not painting it. But I thought this was really cute. It comes also in a ghost, um, which if you're into that, I had it last year. Um, the rats enjoyed the pumpkin more for some reason and it's cuter, I guess. <laughs> and like I was saying about those baskets, you usually see them in cage doors. I finally found them this year. I've been looking around for like three years now for these baskets and I have not been able to find them. Usually you could find them like in cage tours which have them hanging from the top of the cage as like a little plastic hammock type thing. Um, so I got two of those for the rats. I only got two just because I don't know where I'm putting all this stuff after Halloween's done. I have limited amount of room in this place. Um, but yeah, I got two of those and I thought they would be really cute. Um, and I think I also got two just because the hammocks are so big that I didn't want it to take up a lot more room. I got those for a dollar each. And then at Walmart, I got these two little trick-or-treating bu buckets. Um, so they have like little pumpkin faces on them. I wanted to stick with the orange and black theme just because last year I think I went with purple, I think. And then the year before I went for like a natural type, like corn husky type theme, I guess. Um, so I went with fucking orange, which I got at Walmart for 98 cents and I thought that I could either again hang these up or have them as little dig boxes. So those are them. So another thing that I got at the Dollar Tree that I just remembered <laughs> were these uh, little black baskets. You can get them at the Dollar Store, at Dollar Emma as well. I saw them there. So I got these two little black baskets which I'm going to use as Heidi houses. Sorry about Gracie. So what I did was I cut a little hole in it like I did with the blue, the blue ones I think? Yeah, I have a blue one in that cage right now that I kind of just cut little holes in. Um, these make great Heidi houses and they're really cheap and easy to make. So I got two of those for $8.25. And then another thing that I got, this was from last year. I didn't keep any of the things, all, any of my Halloween things that I had last year, um, except for these cute little ceramic bowls. Um, so I have this one. This one was $1.25 at the dollar store at Dollarama. And this it has a little spider web. It's purple with a little spider web and a spider on it. I also have another one which is a black cat, but I can't seem to find it. I know that it's in here somewhere. I'm pretty sure it is like, I'm not entirely sure where it is, but um, I have a black cat one and as well as this from last year and something completely off topic of Halloween. I did get a few toys 
um, from PetSmart. So I got this uh, lava block too. I don't remember what it's called. I didn't didn't have a tag on it. But it has like these bamboo pieces, wood pieces, as well as a lava a lava block on it. Um, which I got from for either the rats or Gracie. I think I'm gonna be giving it to Gracie because Gracie really enjoyed this. She destroyed hers. Um, I also got two of these little hay carrots. Whoa. <laughs> I also got two of these hay carrots. Um, one was for Lemmy and one is for Gracie. Gracie's is in her cage and Lemmy's is just on the floor. And I got these for $2 each at Pet PetSmart. They were on sale, which was amazing. <laughs> and this thing, when I saw this thing at PetSmart, I had to get it because I could just see Lemmy throwing this around and chewing it. And it is a giant wicker ball. I thought this was amazing. I got this for $7 at I got this at seven for seven dollars at PetSmart, and he's already enjoyed chewing on that. Um, but yeah, I thought that was an amazing price for such a giant whale ball. It's like the size of my face, <laughs> and he re he's really enjoying this right now. So yeah, that basically concludes this Halloween haul. If you guys like the video, please like and please subscribe and please comment down below. Also, if you have decorated your cage and made a cage tour at all, uh, please link it down below and I'll be sure to watch it as well as like it for you because I love uh, watching um, Halloween cage tours and Christmas cage tours and all that. And I would like to apologize once again for all the noise that were, was in this video. I can't help it. I should have shot this video in my bedroom or something instead of the pet room. But I thought that you guys might enjoy seeing all the action behind me, which was probably not a lot in this video, but hope you enjoyed it anyways. <laughs> so uh, this concludes the video. Um, I will see you guys next time. Bye! I hope you like the cat ears because they're hurting my head. <laughs>